And finally, new rule here on Valentine's Night. Every couple must ask themselves, do you have an unhealthy relationship with technology? When you wake up, do you turn toward your partner or do you pick up your phone? <laughs> I keep reading about these people who identify as digisexuals or robosexuals. <laughs> people who prefer, prefer to have relationships with, even have sex with, their phone. <laughs> or a robot. Or a doll. And I know where this is going. Because everything that happens in life happens in movies first. Ex Machina, Lars and the Real Girl, AI, Westworld. Blade Runner 2049, her, all of them featuring hookups that violate my number one rule in relationships. Never make love to someone you have to unplug to clean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the disturbing trend on this chart. From the beginning of time to 1937, there were zero instances of any kind of hanky-panky with machines. <laughs> then came the first in-home washing machines, followed by the first housewives sitting on them. <laughs> then in 1968, the Hitachi magic wand made men obsolete. In 1998, the first webcam girls allowed interpersonal relationships to happen in real time through your computer. 2007, a new product called the iPhone makes sexting, Tinder, and dick pics mainstream. 2018, Real Doll X comes on the market. <laughs> Gone are the days when having a sex doll meant you'd fuck an air mattress with rouge on it. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now they look like this. Yeah, you thought about it, didn't you? <laughs> and not only is this doll made from high-end silicone and sculpted to perfection, like the real housewives, <laughs> but she's actually part robot now, so she can simulate orgasms, just like a real woman. <laughs> I knew I couldn't get through that one. This is so romantic. <laughs> and this stuff isn't just for men anymore, by the way. They're working on a male companion. <laughs> They're working on a male companion to the female robot shown here. No, wait. <laughs> no, here, that's not it. This, this is it. This is Henry, a male sex bot with a huge bionic dick that ejaculates face moisturizer from Sephora. How are we supposed to... <laughs> How are we supposed to compete with that? <laughs> and this is not just a passing fad like fidget spinners or the rule of law. <laughs> a guy in China couldn't find a wife, so he built one. It can only speak a few words, but he says he has plans for improving it by making it speak even fewer. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. I didn't say that. He said that. In France, there's a woman with a similar story who says she isn't attracted to human men, only male robots. She, she, so she made one with her 3D printer, and now they're engaged. <laughs> she says she simply dislikes physical contact with human flesh. Well, you know, there's an app for kissing your phone now. <laughs> but no tongue. That would be weird. This German woman claims she's erotically in love with the Boeing 737. <laughs> hey, look, planes are sexy. I can see falling in love with one. But a Boeing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not safe sex. <laughs> There's a guy in Japan who married a hologram, which is great unless the electricity goes out. And he says to judge him by human standards is, quote, simply not right. He says it's as if you were trying to talk a gay man into dating a woman. This is a movement now. They're here. They've got gears. Get used to it. <laughs> this is the latest emerging sexual orientation demanding equality. People who don't need people and feel that makes them the luckiest people in the world. <laughs> 
but... But has no one noticed that in all the movies where human-machine interaction takes place, it never ends well for the humans? <laughs> sure, at first, the sex is great. <laughs> but then they turn on you, and if I wanted to get fucked by an app, I'd caucus in Iowa. <laughs> It is a dangerous trend for men and women to be finding ways to get along without each other. Human-to-human -human romance, sex, love, it's the last bond holding us together, really. Politics is gone. A common culture is gone. We need to keep fucking. <laughs> and that is my message to you on this Valentine's night. Find someone you love and fuck them. <laughs>